So welcome to part four of the remake of my Observe Rebuild video series. So in this video you will see I complete the roof, I fit the door, finish the walls and basically get the observatory completely watertight which is really nice. So um, I hope uh, somebody find this video useful and please if you've got any questions about the building of this observatory please ask in the comments below and I will answer all of your questions. So um, let's get into it. So the idea of this Solitex insulation is to try and keep it cool in the summer and warmer in the winter and try and maintain a sort of even temperature. Uh, I may have to put a little bar heater in during the winter and possibly install a fan for the summer. We'll have to wait and see how that one goes. But if I get this insulation in, then it's a good start. So it's me from the future. I just want to show you a little clip on how this insulation has been performing. It is so hot out here today. Let's just have a look at this. 32.5 degrees. But the interesting question is, how hot is it inside the observatory? Right, we'll leave this in here for a couple of minutes to acclimatize, and then we'll come back and have a look. And let's go and check that thermometer out. This is around 10 minutes later, and what have we got? 27.8. Okay, that's, um, that's around five whole degrees lower in this observatory, which goes to show that the insulation I have in the roof and the walls are clearly working. And just by touch, you can feel, everything just feels cool. I mean, this is obviously metal and the metal is feeling cool. But if this was inside a normal shed, I hate to think what the temperature would be. An uninsulated shed with 32 degrees outside would be probably 40 degrees or more in here. So I think we can say that my insulation has worked. It's doing its job. So my door for the observatory has arrived and I also have the motor that's here and there's the metal plate which is going to be bolted to the wall and those four bolts will hold the motor to the plate. So I've got everything here. There's still a lot of material is here to be used up. So this is the metal plate to hold my motor in place. And on the back of that is these welded nuts. So I've just recessed some holes in there. It's where the heads of the bolts will go. So the plate will sit nice and flush against that wall. And then I can mount the motor over the bolts that will be coming into the building just above head height. Hopefully it should just clear my head. There'll be another plate the other side of the wall, so these two plates will be bolted together, which is going to make it a really sturdy fixing for the motor. The idea of this UPVC door is it's going to be a much more secure option with the four locking points and the reinforced UPVC panels. So that's the door fitted and I can now finish boarding this wall with the hardy planks. And here I've cut the battens down and I've glued them to the metal plate to give a really good fixing for the hardy planks.
adjustment on there, that's great. So that's all, I'm just gonna tighten the nuts up. As you can see, there's some um, adjustment here on the motor so it can be raised up to engage with the tooth track. And here I'm fitting 50mm Celotex insulation, which is really going to help control the temperature inside the observatory. So I'm using 18 mil OSB on the top of the rafters. I've got 11 mil underneath and 50 mil of Solitex sandwiched in between. So there'll be a two layer felt system go on top of the 18 mil OSB. So the roof is now ready for fascia boards and bars boards and then that will be ready for the felt to go on. So this is a two part heat applied felt system that Gary is fitting onto my roof for me. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice to get the outside of the observatory finally complete with the door fitted, the hardy planks on, facial and barge boards and the roof felt. So the building is now watertight which is really nice. So the motor is now fully fitted and it's connected to Nina via this Arduino which allows Nina to control the roof. It opens and closes the roof within a sequence. And I've also fitted a cloud watcher, which is also integrated into Nina. So if a cloud comes along, it will shut the roof during the sequence and then open the roof again when the clouds are gone. So if you want to see more of these observatory build videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, it really does help push the video out to other people. And if you made it this far, I want to say a big thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions about the building of this observatory, then please Put the questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer all of the questions. So thanks for watching and I wish you all clear skies.